Hello, I'm Debbie from So So Easy. Good morning. And today I'm going to have a look at how to buy fabric online. So just some tips that I'm going through today to try and put together a fabric bundle. I want to mix and match a number of fabrics so that when I coordinate 10 in the end, they'll ho hopefully all make one nice collection. So I'm ordering my fabrics today from Canton Village Quilt Works cvquiltworks.com and the lovely lady there Jackie has invited me to put together a blogger bundle of 10 fabrics and initially I was like so excited oh I've never done anything like this before and then I thought oh my god there are so many fabrics to choose from and how I how am I going to make sure that I put something together that looks cohesive in the end so I went to the Canton Village Quilt Works website and clicked here for fabric you can decide by manufacturer collection designer you know all the usual ways if you click on fabric you'll bring up this screen where you can use the drop down boxes and there are obviously hundreds of pages of beautiful fabric that I could pick from so what I did is I went through and I picked out fabrics that I liked so if you look up at the top of the screen you can see all of these tabs open and each one is where I've right clicked and opened a fabric in a new tab so if I do that a new tab opens up here and then you can see this fabric this one hasn't made it to my short list so I'm going to close it down but all of the other ones have I've decided um, I have to put 10 fabrics together and this is going to be one that I definitely want included. It's called Cayman Bay and because I live in the Cayman Islands and I love the sea, I love scuba diving, I love being on or under the water all the time, I want to put together a bundle that reflects that. So this one, obviously called Cayman Bay, had to be my number one choice. So together with that one, I liked this one. This one's a little bit of blue and green, but it's very organic, like the coral structures and the coral reef and the things that I'd see underwater. So I like that one too. And then also this one, this is a bit like a Cayman sunset that I can see out of the back of my house. It's all pinks and yellows and oranges, and it has bubbles, which reflects my love of scuba diving. So those are my three fabrics. And then I've got all of these other ones along the top where I've got tabs open, and I wanted to see which ones of these we're going to coordinate with it best but of course they're all on different pages so that makes it very difficult so I came up with an idea to get everything on one page and I just wanted to share that with you today so this is my first tab one of the fabrics that I've shortlisted and now that I have it up on my screen I'm going to right click with my mouse and it brings up a list of options one of which is save image as so I'm going to save this fabric image to my desktop I've selected desktop here and you can see images that I've already saved in fact the Cayman Bay fabric is already there so I won't save it again because I'll duplicate it but I went through all of the tabs and made a short list of fabrics that I liked and saved the picture of them to my desktop now I need to get them into a collage so that I can mix and match the fabrics and see what's going to look best there's a great online tool for doing that it's called pick monkey this is the page for it here pickmonkey.com and this is the one I use to edit the photos for my website and also make up a collage and I thought the collage tools would be really useful so if you click on here for collage and it's going to invite you to open up some documents so if I go to desktop and I can select all of those pictures in one click open and it's now going to bring all of those pictures into PicMonkey for me. So if you're not familiar with it, this is going to be our working area, our desktop just here where we can make up our collage. And these are all the photos here which I've opened. And we can scroll through straight away. And already there's one which is glaringly obvious. This bright pink one. As much as I really love that fabric and I love all these little scallops a bit like fish scales it really doesn't match with anything else so I can just delete that one from the collage right away because I know I don't like it anything else it's glaringly obvious I think maybe this one with the spots everything else is very organic this one is very regimented so that one with the spots is going to go um, okay and the rest not so bad I'm not sure about these solids okay I like pattern let's go with lots of pattern okay so we'll leave those call those our short list 
Over here under this uh, layout we can pick how we want our collage to look. So I'll just pick some squares. If I start with one like that it immediately breaks this workspace down into squares so I can add all of my pictures. So if I go back to the pictures I'm going to start dragging them so I just click and drag and when it's in the collage you'll get a little tick down here so I can see which ones I've already added and I'm going to just try and do it roughly as I add them according to color groups so this is a pink one these two others have got little bits of pink there's a kind of purpley one there now that's one of my focus fabrics this is one that I really want included and the great thing about pick monkey is that you can drag uh, make all these different sizes you can even drag between pictures like that to change these and because this is one of my focus fabrics I'm gonna put that up at the top and it's going to add it across here. Now this Cayman Bay was another of my focus fabrics so I'll drag that and put it on the side and also this pink one with the bubbles that was one of my focus fabrics so let me put that there. Okay so those are my three that I know I definitely want included and then let's have a look and see how these others down at the bottom are going to match in with it see if they're going to look good. So what else have we got? I've got some very light ones. Let's try putting some light ones down here. I'll move those pink up there. Got some kind of mid-tone. Put some mid-tone ones in. That one's a little bit pinky. Let's put that one there. That one's a dark. Now I've got this one. I don't think I'm liking that. It's got too much black so I'm going to delete that from the collage and delete that from here and now I'll just pause while I drag some more of these into the collage so everything's now in place and I can tell that because all of my pictures over on the left here I've got little ticks so now I get an idea of what it's starting to look like and I think I can already see where I want to um, get rid of a couple more this one up here although I like the blues and greens the shapes aren't working for me so that one is gonna go and this one down at the bottom although it has the blues and greens that I might be looking for it looks a little bit dirty compared to the rest of the collection so that one will also go now let's look at some of these light ones I think this one is too light so that one is going and this one again too regular that one goes and maybe this one okay so I'm already starting to get more of a feel now these two fabrics here are the same however they're just in different colorways and I'm preferring this more mottled effect so that one is gonna go this one here I really like I'm gonna make that one another focus fabric so I will drag that so now I'm down to one two three four five which I really like and let's have a look I've got these two these are quite similar but this one is more blue and green this one's more purple so I think that purple one can go but I want something that is going to bridge the gaps more between these blue and greens and this pink so I've got these three elements let's have a look this one and this one I can swap those two around I should be able to just by dragging there we are so I've got these three up at the top these are kind of blue and pink together so these make a nice uh, a nice transition whereas this one is starting to look a bit too blue so that one can go this one's got spots it's too regular this one's more organically spotted um, I think that one goes so have I got now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so three more to go so I've got three of these in the pink now I can always go back up to my tabs up at the top because I've got them open up here so if I click on the tabs I can see the details a bit more more than I can in the collage and I can decide from here which ones I want so out of those pinks 
Which one do I prefer? I actually prefer this one. So now I can go back to my collage and say, right, I prefer that one. So that one can go. This one is very nice. I like that one. This one's starting to look out of place. So that one can go. And maybe this one. So how many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I count right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's it. So do I like the overall look of that? I've got the kind of blues and greens organics here. I've got a couple of the darker ones that I'm looking for. This one's got lovely coral type shapes. I've got the pink that I wanted, the Cayman Bay, which was the start and the transition between them all. So now I can just drag my fabrics around, maybe put them from lights to darks or however I want them. Actually, I think that's really good. OK, so I'm very happy with that. So now I've selected the 10 fabrics that I want. I know that I've got the kind of palette and I'm looking for and the variety of not only just colors but shapes as well. And I'm, I'm done. I'm ready to pick my 10 fabrics and let uh, Jackie know which ones I want. So thank you very much for following along with me as I picked out my bundle. I hope you like my choices and the big reason being is some lucky winner, some lucky reader is going to win the bundle that I've put together. So I hope you approve of my choices and do go back to the site now and have a look at how you can join the giveaway. Thank you very much for watching.